everyone, welcome back to Cozy Corner. In today's video, I'm going to share how I learned to make this crochet bucket bag or sling bag as some of you might call it, step by step. So this time, we need to prepare the following. Here we have three rolls of yarns in yellow. I love how bright and versatile it would look after we've made the bag. Actually here it's more light but in real life it should be more gingery. And we have this leather base for our bag which comes with studs as well. It would make the bag more sturdier. And here we have a 6mm cook needle. And here we have ring clips so that we can connect the straps to the bag. Our cat decided to join us here. And we have a hook clip as well so that we can attach some accessories. And here are just the three straps that we can use. Here we have a shorter and a longer length of straps so that you can carry it on your hand or you can just wear it like crossbody. Before we start, we need to stretch the yarns to make it more 3D. Initially, they look flat, but once we've stretched them out, the yarn would be more rounded and 3D, just like this. Well, you can actually take your time to stretch out the yarns before you start stitching, so that uh, the whole process would be more smooth. Before making the first stitch, be sure to have the studs of the leather base facing you. Now hold your yarn like so, place the yarn behind the leather base. Your middle finger would hold onto the yarn like this. Now let's make one single crochet for the first stitch on the hole on top of this stud. To do a single crochet stitch, you need to insert the hook into the hole, yarn over the hook, pull up a loop through the hole, then yarn over hook again and pull the yarn through the loop you just created. The yarn tail here, do keep in mind that we would like to hide it inside the stitches. So for the second hole, we need to do two single crochet stitches. You need to first insert the hook through the hole. The tail should be above the holes at all time. Like for the first stitch, it's above the hole and the hook, while the tail should be below the yarn that we're holding. Now yarn over hook, pull up a loop. Now you see the tail is above the yarn that we're holding and also the hole while below the hook. Now finish off the stitch by having yarn over hook then pull up through both loops. So now that the first one is done, we need to do the second singles crochet stitch on the same hole. So in short, the tail should be above the holes at all times until it is hidden. Or you can also cut it short, whichever you prefer. We would keep doing one single crochet stitch and two single crochet stitch alternately. Repeat it until you reach the hole on top of another stud. Then we need to keep doing like two single crochet stitches on both sides of the studs. Also, don't forget to keep pulling the stitches made inwards to form the base of the bucket bag. Actually, the whole process is not hard. It's just it hurts a bit when making the base. But once you've completed the base, when you do the first row to the 19th row, your hands wouldn't be as painful. It may take time, but the whole process is quite soothing. Now we're back to the longer sides. We do one single crochet stitch on the hole on top of the stud, 
then do two single crochet stitches alternately again. And again, we need to do two single crochet stitches for the curvy side. We have formed the base. Before your next step to form the first row, don't forget to keep pulling the stitches inwards. After the final stitch for the base, we are going to make an invisible join. I actually lost the footage of making the invisible join for the base, so let me insert another footage for another rose. It's actually just the same process, so let us go through it. Now you should pull out the yarn a bit longer, insert your hook from back to front under the loop of your first stitch, then put the loop on the hook, then pull it inside. Now put the hook in the hole between the V-shape on the first stitch and the knot, yarn over hook, pull up through the same stitch now we have one loop on the hook then put another loop on the hook as well now pull the outer loop through the other if it's too complicated you can slow down the video a bit so that you can see how we did it and now we're ready to form the first row for every stitch we will put the hook through the hole between the v-shape and the knot for the first row to the 19th row, we will only do one single crochet per stitch. And don't forget to pull the stitches inwards from time to time to form the bucket shape. But usually you can just do the pulling for the first three rows and you're good to go.
So now we actually just do the same thing over and over until we have completed the 19th row. So I'll just film one more row in normal speed so that you can see how we do it. And then I'll fast forward the process for you so that we won't bore you.
Once you've reached your 19th row, you should pull the yarn a bit longer and find a scissor, cut it short. You can leave around 15 to 20 cm or even shorter if you want. Then you should pull the yarn out. Then use your hook, insert it from back to front on the first stitch. Then pull the yarn inside. Then you insert your hook from back to front over here. Then pull the yarn inside the bag again. Now you see that the pattern should look like this so that it looks smooth. Then we can start to weaving the tails inside the bag or you can cut it short. You may see some other tails over here so you can just cut it or weave it in whichever you prefer. So here we have the completed crochet bucket bag. It should have 19th row. And now we need to add in the accessories to complete the bag. So I just folded the bag like so and start counting from the side to the middle to find the center of the bag. Once you've located the center, you should count three rows from top to bottom and then skip two stitches, then insert the strap. So here I'm just inserting the straps from the inside of the bag to the outside. Then we should work on both sides of the bucket bag. Just fold it like so and just locate the third row. Uh, insert the straps in and out. Just make sure that it's on the same level and you're good to go. Actually, you can just eyeball it if you're like a free spirit, just like me. Now for the back, we should just do the same thing we did which is to locate the center stitch from the third row. Insert the straps from inside to outside. Then you can count four stitches. Insert the straps back in and do the same for the side of the bucket bag. Then there you have it. clips on both sides just like so.
once we have the ring clips ready we can attach the straps whichever you prefer you can just add in the hand carry one or the longer strap one And there you go, your very own DIY crochet bucket bag. You can hand carry it, wear it on the side or as a crossbody. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and comment down below on whether you would make this on your own. Don't forget to subscribe and see you guys on next Sunday. Bye guys!